your vision, your window to the world. Experience it and pursue your dreams wherever life may take you and soak up those simple moments and breathtaking adventures. That's why our practice uses advanced technology for the first step of your LASIK procedure. This advanced technology has been used safely in millions of procedures worldwide to create a LASIK flap tailored to the specifications of your eye. Your surgeon programs the laser to precisely deliver tiny, rapid pulses of light energy that form microscopic bubbles just beneath the corneal surface. These bubbles expand and separate the tissue by a process called photodisruption to create a thin LASIK flap. With the flap lifted, your surgeon gently reshapes your cornea with a second laser to the desired shape. Your procedure is complete when the flap is precisely laid back into place so healing can begin. Isn't it time you discovered the advantages? Three times greater strength, stability, and flap quality. Patients prefer laser technology for the first step of their LASIK procedure and an improved patient experience with fewer dry eye symptoms and flap-related complications. Now you can feel more confident and secure with the first step of your LASIK procedure. Important safety information. Indication. The IFS and Intralase lasers are surgical lasers that can be used to create flaps for use in laser-assisted in-situ keratomalusis LASIK surgery. Contraindications. You should not have LASIK flaps made using the IFS and Intralase lasers if you have certain pre-existing eye conditions. Tell your doctor about any eye-related conditions, injuries, or surgeries you have had. Adverse events. Possible complications resulting from LASIK flap creation include swelling, inflammation, or pain in your eye, infection or flap related complications mild to severe light sensitivity occurred in one percent of patients between two and six weeks after surgery some patients 0.03 percent noticed a temporary spoke-like band of light in their peripheral vision caution u.s federal law restricts these devices to practitioners who have been trained in their calibration and operation and who have experience in the surgical treatment and management of refractive errors <laughs>